I think it was maybe two, three weeks ago, I made that video about Viola Davis and how she guilt tripped a bunch of people into going to see her movie by saying, if you don't go see it, it's gonna negatively impact black women in leading roles in Hollywood because in Hollywood, there's a stereotype against black women who are lead actresses in movies. I completely 100% agree. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing I'm gonna add to okay. that. Okay. It will just be a moment if people don't come see the movie. Hey, you heard? Okay. That's right. Because you're sending a very clear message to a machine called Hollywood. Mm -hmm. A machine called Hollywood um, is interested in green. It just is. It, it, it is what I do. So if you don't come see it, then you're sending a message that black women cannot lead the box office globally. Hey. That you are supporting that narrative. And if you want to normalize it, come see it the same way you would you know, um, the same way you would Black Panther, Spider -Man. Iron Man, Spider-Man, yeah. or mm -hmm. any other movie that doesn't have any of us in it. Yeah. Or one or two of us in it. And I said then, and I'm going to say now, it's dumb to guilt trip people into going to see a product because you're not going to have people paying attention to the movie. They're going to pay more attention to the comments that you made that were ultimately derogatory towards a bunch of people because you cannot shame people based on their own interests. You can't look at a bunch of people who are interested in one thing and and say you obviously hate on me and you want to see me fail because you're not interested in the hard work I put in people have their own interests there are people who are interested in a bunch of historically inaccurate slave movies about women shipping off a bunch of people to different countries that is interesting to some people but to me a black marginalized man in 2022 that is something I don't need to see and it's a shame that in a couple of months Will Smith of all people is coming out with another one of these slave type movies that I'm not going to see why it's not not because he's black it's not because he slapped chris rock it's not because he's a cuck to his own wife it's because that type of movie is not interesting to me as a movie going consumer who's interested in action story character development i'm interested in a little bit of romance some comedy these are things that are interesting to me and if i see a trailer for a movie that doesn't have all that or has a piece of it but it's ultimately boring i'm not going to watch it call me what you want but i'm not going to watch it and speaking of calling me what what you want at least for viola she didn't spend too much time demonizing white people she didn't get in front of the camera and say oh you evil white supremacists you don't support black people you especially don't support black women how dare you not do this go watch my movie or you're a racist white supremacist i could give her credit for not doing that however we can't always have our cake and eat it too because there's a gay movie that's a romantic comedy called bros that came out and the director the lead actor whatever his title is spent a lot of time I'm criticizing people for not going to see the movie by saying that if you don't you're a homophobic weirdo and the problem I have with that is that you would spend more time chastising people and expecting them to see that and say oh my god I don't want to be viewed as homophobic let me go spend money on a movie I'm not interested in you are actively telling people that if you're not interested in a movie it automatically makes you homophobic and the best thing about this is that not only straight people were criticizing him but also gay people were criticizing Criticizing him because you would spend more time chastising people instead of promoting the movie and there's some old tweets about him being derogatory towards people who believe in God there's a rumored IMDB post where he's saying he doesn't want conservatives or people who voted for Trump to go see his movie when you have all these things come out you're actively promoting a movie to half of your audience you're not sitting down and understanding that as a business as somebody who wants to make money you have to have something for every Everybody to see you would want to promote this to everybody so everybody could see it some people could spend money on it and you can make a lot of money but when you're spending time getting in front of cameras or talking to a bunch of reporters rumoredly and saying you don't want a certain type of people going to see your movie and then when your movie bombs you don't have anyone to blame but the random people who you chastise into not seeing the movie you look like an egotistical bastard and that's the same beating drum that I have with a bunch of other people not just movie actors but content creators tiktokers all these people who want to blame others while also promoting the fact that their videos are not for those same people you are not going to get the success that you hope for why because you're spending too much time chastising people and not promoting your product to everybody your friends not gonna watch your content your family's not gonna watch it you want to promote your product to strangers whether it's videos movies
shirts, weed, all these things. You would want to promote that to everybody so everybody could see it and think, hmm, I'm quite interested in that product. I think I'm going to take a look at it. And if I like it, I'm going to purchase it. You don't want to look at a bunch of people not supporting your brand and saying, you all hate me. You support this person, but you don't support me. How dare you evil, feminist, misogynist, racist, transphobic, fatphobic bastards for not supporting me because I'm a victim and I deserve all the success in the world. You look like a petulant child bitching for some candy and mama not giving it to you. The constant loser mentality people have for the things that they don't really put in work for is absolutely hilarious because there are so many people that exist on all these different platforms that are working hard with the limited time that they have to produce something for an audience of whoever is capable of seeing it and they spend time promoting it to anyone who would listen and they want the success that they know that they have to work for. They're not going to sit around and say, oh, if you don't support me, you obviously hate me because of the color of my skin or my sexuality. I literally have a friend who I would want a bunch of people to support. Her name is Just Peachy on Twitch, and she talks about some of the things I talk about, but from a woman's perspective. And in some cases, she talks about it more eloquently and in more of a structured manner than I do. And I would hope a bunch of you go check her out and follow her and support her. And if you don't, that's perfectly fine. I'm not going to sit here and say, if you don't do it, you you hate a bunch of women. You don't care about people who are working hard and they're always marginalized. Ooh. Ooh. Almost dropped my controller again. Ow! Ah! <laughs> oh! I have a rolling chair and I rolled over my foot. Oh, that hurt. I have bare feet right now. I'm in my bare feet. Let your mind go wherever it needs to be knowing that information. <laughs> interest is in the eye of the person who is interested in the things that they see. And if somebody isn't interested, they're just not interested. Trying to figure out the intricate lore of their life is going to do nothing but cause you a bunch of misery because you're spending more time fixated on people who aren't interested. And instead, you should be using that time to get them interested, not by guilt tripping them, not by shaming them, not by demeaning them, but by working hard to produce a product that more people would enjoy and if you would do that you would get more money you would get more views you would get the outcome that you want instead of whining like a little girl expecting the world to cater to you because I'm sorry to disappoint you that's not how life works there are people who are continuously working hard every day surpassing you and your lackluster effort so that they could be successful while you're too busy whining on Twitter about how everybody's a homophobic weirdo there are white supremacists and they're all evil because they don't spend time caring about you they're caring about people who are actually working hard producing something that is interesting so in the meantime all my fellow homophobic weirdos who didn't spend time and money on a movie that wasn't interested for you i am somebody who will welcome you with open arms because i don't care if you're fat skinny black white, male, woman, child, transgender, straight, gay, lesbian, fully clothed, naked, wheelchair bound, capable of walking, four legs, five dicks, I welcome you into the community of the developed sperm known as the ruined civilization. And you are welcomed and you will be praised and hopefully you're interested in the variety of content that I put out on a Monday through Friday basis. Subscribe to the channel, I'll see y'all in the next one, link in the pin comment and description for Peachy's Twitch. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.